Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Chanel and today's video will be another Okay, I'm back with another shop my stash so we can make a basket. I'm going to show you everything that we used last week, what I thought of it, and um, then I'll be choosing new items to throw into the shop my stash. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First things first, I'm going to start with this primer. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you do like um, shop my stashes. I do these every single week over here on my channel. You don't want to miss out on that. I do post a lot of other makeup related content like Project Pan, hauls, and my Malibay. So if any of that interests you, like and subscribe. So now let's move on with the essence. This is the poreless partner primer it's a metaphine and blurring primer that claims um that it won't clog your pores wet niacinamide kind of smells like watermelon um i do like the texture it is kind of like a liquidy texture but kind of wants to be a silicone -y primer but not like smashbox original silicone primer um it is very mattifying when i applied this all over my face but um it was just like a little too drying for what i like so to make it work i kind of use like a very moisturizing glowy primer underneath first and then a little bit of this on the nose and it worked one time but then this other time when i wore it and i used a foundation brush i guess the foundation wasn't really pushed into my skin it just kind of went everywhere and i looked cakey so i'll have to play with this again some more um, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update on what I think of it so far. So I may or may not have this in the rotation. We will see. Next up, we have next up we have these foundations. They're by L'Oreal. I like the True Match more. Um, this is more of a liquidy, medium coverage foundation, and um, it's just nice, very thin, and like your skin, but better. Doesn't cover like very dark pigmented acne, but it'll cover up a little bit of redness and whatever else you need but um yeah this one i wore today with the brush and i guess i just applied too much and it wasn't just like pushed in the skin i like kind of going in uh, with the light layer with the sponge then a brush and then patting it in with the sponge again so i'm gonna try that out again i'm gonna put this one back into my collection for now and then we have the l'oreal infallible uh 24 hour fresh wear foundation the shade is just too dark it looks nice on camera but in real life this is kind of orangey on me so um i like how long wear this is and it's very full coverage you don't need a lot but i just need it in a better shade um it did oxidize a little bit around my mouth i find so i'm gonna go with not my regular shade, but actually like a shade or two lighter so that when it um, oxidizes, it doesn't look bad on me. So yeah, I really like this uh, foundation. It's just I don't like the color for me at the moment. So I'm going to put these foundations back so I can use some other stuff. Um, next up, let's talk blush. I did have the Benefit Krista blush in. This is a very buildable blush, so don't be scared of the shade. Um, so yeah, this is a very nice, like, um, corally pink color. This corally pink is very similar to the ColourPop and Snow White collection. And Fair Enough, I think, is the shade, or something fair. Um, so yeah, I would prefer this formula just because it's easier to work with. You can add a lot and not look clownish. It's very buildable. You have to layer it on before you get a full impact. So, yeah, I like this one just because it's a little bit more foolproof than the other one. Um, the ColourPop one it is, I guess, more pigmented and harder to use. I had to use a blush, a brush to make it work. But, yeah, this crystal one's nice. It's going to go back into my collection since I got a little bit of use on it. Then I'm going to talk to you guys about this Dermablend powder that I used. Um, again, I was using it with that darker foundation, so it just looked off. Um... I guess it's good for baking, but I'm going to have to test this out what foundations I love. For now, this one can um, go back so I can probably use up my Project Pan stuff. I did use this M Cosmetics blush a few times. Super, super pretty. Oh, love this peachy pinky everyday color. Super, super cute. Then I did really enjoy the Bondi Bay bronzer. I feel like I didn't use uh, this one enough by nude sticks so this one can stay in it's just like this beautiful color and um 
it gets neutralized i i feel like it looks a little orangey in the tube but it's more neutral on my face once it's blended in so it's good for kind of like uh, nose contour so i really do enjoy that one that one can probably stay in the rotation um and then let me talk this cream blush right here this is the merit cream blush in beverly hills this was like my favorite blush to use it's like this peachy pinky neutrally beautiful shade oh perfect nude love it i'm gonna put it back so i can get use on some other um blushes i did also use this m cosmetics one quite a few times for that neutral you know brown nude color um i'm almost done with a project pan blush um that i'm focusing on that's like a similar color so that one will go out i did use um this gucci lipstick and the shade janet no goldie red it's more of their sheer lipstick that looks like this um and i like kind of blotted it on it looks it looks disgusting i'm sorry i blotted it on my lips for like a easy nice look so that one can go back since we got use on it the one i use the most is this dior one i was pretty much using this lipstick every day for work and it's like this brownie pinky nude color super super pretty i think this one will go into a project pan eventually one day soon um just because i used up all my favorite lipsticks so yeah that one's nice and then these other two colors are very similar that i wore tom ford and nars this is casablanca by tom ford um i like this one it's pretty i think i like the nars formula a little more uh, I think it stayed put a little bit better, but I just wore these um, with a liner and then a little gloss on top, and they look pretty similar. So yeah, this is a nice one. So I will pull these back out when I feel like using them, but for now, I got a little use on them, and they can go back into my collection. I have some glosses that I want to talk to you guys about, um, and a lipstick. So I guess we'll start with the lipstick. This uh, Clinique, I think it's called is it bear pop no it's mocha pop it's um just like this everyday brownie pink color really enjoyed that for like a softer just like effortless lip look and then these glasses so yeah nothing too special about it i am gonna put that one back and then we have glosses to talk about i did get a lot of use out of this purple tom ford one loveless um i got some I got some use on this nude lip gloss by Kaja, and this one is in the shade Milk Tea. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one back. That is one that I would like to project pan in the future as well. And then lastly, I just want to highlight again this uh, makeup. I don't know if I highlighted this last, last week, but Makeup Revolution. I call it the Butterfly Lip Gloss. Super, super pretty. Been using this as a topper. Has like beautiful shimmer in it and it's just so pretty i have to use a gloss under it because it's not shiny enough on its own but it is definitely very very pretty so yeah if you can pick this up i highly recommend that you guys pick it up while it is still available on the ulta website maybe you can find it on the makeup revolution website but yeah this one's staying in oh i do have some more blushes to talk about actually um here are some more nude <laughs> Some nude uh, blushes. This is Ursula, the Villains Essence blush. I did get use on that for a very nice nude look. And then I like to kind of um, put this down as a base and then a, a more crazy blush on top. Oh, if I got use on this one too. This is in the shade You Are. I can't read. Spice Apple. The print is small. So yeah, those can go back into my collection. And then I have a highlighter palette that even though I love a lot, this one has to go back into my collection because I've been using it way too much and I need to pull a different highlight. So remind me to pull a highlight because I didn't. <laughs> Nicole Guerrero, I'm going to put you up for a little while. Hopefully I can bring you back out in the summer and get some use out of the darker shades. So going back, I got a little bit of use out of this palette. This is um, the Divine Rose 2 palette. I did use this shade and this shade and this shade. I believe so didn't use everything but I used it a little bit so I will throw up looks on the screen for your enjoyment and then I also did use the Natasha Denona pastel palette 
I think I did two or three looks with this one. And I used um, this shade up here. I used this shade and this shade and this shade. I did use this shade and this shade and this shade, I believe. So got a lot of use on this palette and I'm gonna put it back up for now. I think I will bring this palette back out in the summertime. Or maybe in spring, I don't know. So now that I went over everything, I'm gonna go grab the items that I need really quick and then I will show you everything that we'll be pulling in for this week. Oh, and this Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Foundation in the shade 1W2 San. Um, this is a favorite of mine. I've been through two bottles in the past and I picked up two more during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. So if you guys seen my two latest hauls, um, the these products are most likely in those hauls. So. Here we go, super pretty, long lasting foundation, love it. It's matte and beautiful, holds up well. So I'm gonna be pulling that one and then I have um, a blush in here and then a lot of lip products. Um, I'm gonna be pulling in this new blush called Call My Blush by Bare Minerals. It's their Gen Nude Powder Blush. I did get this from um, Sephora. Uh, whenever Ulta has their 21 Days of Beauty, Sephora usually mirrors that sell if they, um, sell the product so this is the blush right here it's more of like a mauvey pink it looks like and mauves are my favorite um the packaging is very easily broken did i swatch this or did someone already swatch this um i think i swatched it <laughs> okay so on camera it's looking peachy but it's definitely a mauve in person so let me give you a swatch and see if it um relays better on camera okay it, it feels like a cream to powder formula almost. It's a little bizarre. Um, that's a pretty shade. I think I own this type of shade already, so I probably shouldn't have bought this. But we're going to try it out for the week and see what I think. And next up, we have um, some lip products. So, um, I did pick up this Bobbi Brown lip gloss. It's their crushed oil infused lip gloss. Um, and this is in the shade bare sparkle shimmer so i'm excited to try out this lip gloss it didn't look it looks very pretty in the tube but it doesn't look um very special swatched out on the hand so i may have to just try this on the lips and see if it looks any better but let me show you what the swatch looks like so there it is there it's almost like a clear sparkle so yeah i just have to try that on the lips to see um what i think we have two more glosses and some lipsticks i didn't pull everything that i bought i'm just trying a few things so i do want to try sugar and dylan by buxom this is their um full-on lip plumping or plumping lip polish so i'm gonna take these out of the box and show you some swatches of these let me know if you picked up anything during ulta 21 days of beauty if you own any of these box of lip glosses, what are your favorite shades? What shades do I have to try? What are the must-haves? So um, let me show you what Sugar looks like and then Dylan. So Sugar is more of this brownie pink. Um, it almost looks metallic. And then the other one looks more like a gel with like micro shimmer and it's like a peachy color. So those are the two colors right there. So there is Sugar next to the um, Bobbi Brown, which I really like that pink. That's cute. And then we have Dylan, which is that peachier shade, which is almost like a clear with a little bit of shimmer. But yeah, I think this um, is not this one. I think Sugar is going to be my favorite of the two Buxom glosses, but we'll have to see. Maybe I might be surprised by one of these other glosses. Last three lip products before we move into the stuff that I already own. These are the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps by Tarte. And I picked up the shade Peachy uh, Beige, White Peach, and Cherry. I'm going to swatch these for you. And then we'll get into the other stuff. I swatched them on top of my wrist there. Um, the lighter shade is White Peach. Then we have Cherry Blossom. And then the darker nude is called uh, Peachy Beige. So those are those three shades right there. Um, I know White Peach is a really famous one on TikTok, so yeah, I have to try these out. These smell really amazing. I like the scent. 
we have some cream blushes to go through so let's start with this um, one right here this is naughty and spice and it's just like a nice everyday pinky color i'm gonna swatch it for you guys it has a little bit of mauve into it next up we have bohemian rose which is this one in the middle and then this one right here is cherry blossom babe which is more cooler tone pink um so yeah i think these are gonna be beautiful especially it's like rosy pinky type of vibes a little mauve in there definitely spring vibes and then in case i'm feeling a more nude look i have this one right here in the shade 32 by giorgio armani it's their neo nude liquid blush and this one has a lot more brown base to it but it is super sheer so you're not gonna get a lot of impact um it's never gonna look built up that much so i am trying to finish this up to be honest i've had it for a year i think now and i want to use it up <laughs> So next up we have some powder blush. Um, I did want to pull out my Dior. This is the uh, 004 Coral shade. Mine looks a little weird because I sprayed it with alcohol to sanitize it. And then it's just like looks weird in the pan. Um, but when I swatch it, it swatches beautifully. So I'll give you guys a swatch on my arm right here. So there it is right there super beautiful peach color next up we have coral etoile by chanel and this is more of a punchier coral shade so i will swatch it next to the dior it's just a slight bit more punchier as you guys can see this one has a little bit more pink in it and this one a lot more neon orangey peach next up i have a lipstick that i want to use it's this one by chanel it's in the shade beige brut and it's a nudie color. It has like a lot of peach in it. So definitely the spring vibes. And I think I'm going to have a lot of nice lip options for this rotation. And this is a, this is a lipstick that I want to use up eventually. So I thought I would, you know, just use it a little bit more in my day-to-day -day life. And then I do have a powder that I want to use. And it is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop uh, Mattifying powder i didn't ever feel like this was mattifying on me but this is one that i want to project pan so i'm gonna try to use that guy a little more and then the highlighter that i chose is this one by mac and it's in the shade double gleam such a beautiful highlighter i'll give you a swatch of it so you guys can see just how beautiful this is Ugh, just glistening like a donut love it smaller palette that i want to get used on is my roan 1111 palette i do have pan in this one i almost have a side pan in this one and i would like to get more use on the other shades so this is one that you might see in for a few weeks as well as some of these other items if you don't see them come out for a little while it's just because i'm still using them and loving on them so if i update next project pan and you don't see a lot of items coming out it's because i'm just loving on them and then i do have and two pat mcgrath palettes that i want to put in this week so i have divine rose one this is what this one looks like a little bit more cooler tone this is my favorite shade ever have it in another palette and already hit pan in it and just nice romantic -y shades i love how there's a lot of mauves in here and like these golden peachy tones just like what we have chosen here a lot of peaches and mobs so peaches and mobs is what i'm going for i'll give you guys a few swatches of this one just because i really love pat mcgrath shadows you guys already know the drill gotta have one every single week here on my channel you guys already know the drill gotta have one every single week here on my channel like it's a no-brainer so I swatched three shades. I swatched three shades right there. Isn't that so pretty? Last palette that I chose was this one right here. It's the Braun Decadence palette, I believe. And I just love this peachy shade in here. And I thought I would reach for some of these mattes. So I'm just going to swatch this one right here because this is what I'm drawn to the most. And this is probably what I'm going to use the most. And if I reach for anything else, then that'll just be a bonus. And I think it goes well with the other Pat McGraw shades. Is this one right here on the end? Isn't that just so 
gorgeous. Ah, oh, beautiful. Love the flip and shine on these guys. And it's also going to go great with some of these peaches and mauves. So really, really love this uh, week's theme. Let me know if you like it by giving my video a big thumbs up. If you did enjoy, let me know what you're using in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys are pulling for. Until next time, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.